Hey guys, and welcome back to the, my uh, Let's Play of Ape Escape 3 on Barbecue Games, and we're going to continue on with the uh, ninja theme level of the game, and I guess that is a monkey inside, I think, potato. And his name's Fatty McFacts. That's nice. But anyways, continuing on from that abrupt ending in last part, um... Yeah, so we're gonna finish to this level. I still gotta collect a decent amount of monkeys before I can move on. Don't know why I have the radar out when there's clearly nothing left here, but I'm sure it makes sense. There's a monkey right there. I don't really need this anymore. It's really fascinating looking at footage recorded like almost a decade a decade ago, because my god, I'm still questioning what I was doing at the, at the time. It's interesting, I'll give it that. My god, it's kind of cringe. But I kind of like commentating over it, because it gives it more of a genuine feel. Okay, so here's this game's gimmick. Each level has a movie that you can film in each level. The thing is that you have to make sure the monkey needed in the film is not captured. And I was initially doing, I believe when I did the playthrough, I was initially going to do 100% that I screwed one up and I didn't want to do said screw it. So, I don't get all the movie files. I do get a fair amount of them, though. Some of them are pretty right there in the open, and a lot of them are just like, you actually have to like not catch certain monkeys, because I think that's what happened. I think I caught a monkey that was like, super like, unlike unassuming, and then I found out later, oh no, you needed him to get the actual camera to on, so I just was like, I didn't want to do it before, and so I just was like, screw it. <laughs> but yeah, oh, here's a green one. And I believe, oh yeah, they even have their arsenal of ninja cloud, that's funny. Too, I caught him before he could do it, where was it though? I did not want to use the stun club much, I can tell. I wonder if it was because the controller was acting up, or I was just being stupid. Probably the latter. My co-host Alex from the podcast would be laughing so hard right now. She'd be like, what are you doing? Dude, we played this game a good amount together back in the day, me and my, uh, my younger sister Alex. I remember because we, this was one of those few games that we had because we didn't have a lot of games back then, so we kind of like, when we had a game, we played it to death. Now I have too many games, I don't have time to play them. Because growing up kind of sucks, but it's not like I'm doing much outside of working these days, so might as well do something with them. And that's why I don't want to let this footage go to waste, because it's like, I did, I did record the full playthrough. Not to change into your morph. Yeah, there you go. Jesus Christ, pass me. But anyways, there's another one. Yeah, that was a shy monkey. The, the blue, uh, light blue one. They're probably the easiest to catch. Anything. And yep, let's go back. Now, ape escape levels are like interesting because some of them are pretty linear, and other ones are a bit more open-ended and a bit more expansive. This one in particular was pretty linear, like start to finish. You'll run into every monkey that you pretty much need to catch as you go through, although when you revisit later on, there is a bit of exploration because you got to find the missing ones that you haven't found yet, because that one's, this one's always in. Tied to a kite. Some, some of them are just ridiculous, though, like these, how they're hidden around. But I believe I'm actually approaching the next boss, and... Oh boy, this boss is something else. Nice. It's kind of sad, because I don't think this game did particularly well. Sales-wide. Sales wise, I should say. Looking pretty good. Okay, so that's another one. I love the TV theme too, where it's like every episode, every every level is literally an episode. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, yellow monkey, yellow monkey. I'll be back. So, 
I don't even think I'll. I, I, I'm gonna let the cutscene speak for itself with Yellow Monkey. <laughs> Who are you? Huh? Oh! oh my! What a cute little child yeah. you are! <laughs> oh my! Such horrible taste in clothing! Yellow Monkey disturbs my sister. You looked in the mirror Kinda disturbs me too. This silly child! I, I mean, just, yeah. Don't you know Enough said there. The <laughs> traditions of Japan? You're showing your the most interesting part about you know. Monkey Yellow is he's voiced by Steve Bloom. <laughs> oh, That's about I all I can say other than his boss fight is incredibly uncomfortable and you're about to see why. If you can't already tell now. Annoyance? That means you, sweetie. <laughs> I wonder how much Steve Bloom got paid for this one. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> how about I give you a choice? What do you mean? You can either fight me, or perhaps you could be my personal chef forever and ever. Why does he have no to rub himself way. like that? Well, which will it I be? I guess he's got the ninja theme for the levels. I guess I'll have to fight you! I like the voice acting in this game, but sometimes it's pretty cheesy. You'll never win. So yeah, this boss fight is basically you hit him a couple times, he'll do a ground pound attack. Easy enough to dodge. Then he'll jump up here. You he have to switch to the miracle ninja, and then he literally launches his. Out of, yeah, he launches ninja stars out of his, you know, and you have to do this, which is incredibly uncomfortable. But somebody at Sony thought this was a great idea. J Japan, everybody. <laughs> anyways, yeah. So it's this is basically the boss fight. Rinse repeat. Pretty simple, a lot easier than the game. About on how with the first one. I mean, I white. The fact that he giggles too makes doesn't make any better. I do love this boss music though. Yeah, this one is very simple though. Yeah, he's already down. In Ape Escape 2, he actually, his boss fight was pretty unique because he actually ran away after finishing it and you actually, he came back later, let's just say. Yeah, that's another segment of the game down. Now for more plot. Or not. <laughs> I forgot, or a cutscene. Well, that is just awesome. Yep, now for more plot. Taken out yellow. Good Not old Spectre now, in his business suit. I, I like the business suit for this game. Tomoki? And Tomoki, Where who I believe is voiced by at? Nolan North. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, Spectre, baby! I can hear you just fine, sweetie. Those pesky humans The plot in this game yellow. is... It's You're weird, like, because at this point it's not particularly mean, deep. It's basically... Yellow? Monkeys are broadcasting TV to brainwash people into turning into literal couch potatoes. But later on, it gets a bit more. Uh, it has a weird like shift into being very deep and meaningful later on. I won't spoil it. Orders. You cannot let those humans get by you. Kind of the series as a whole has always been kind of ridiculous. Well, just who do you think you're It's funny, because to? when you compare mm -hmm. Ape Escape to, like... I, just gave the, I, I do like how Dr. Tomoki's on his mm -hmm. mirror the whole time, not mm -hmm. even paying attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, this series is always... Ape Escape's always been fascinating when you compare it to, like, Sony's, like, flagship like, mascots, like Jack and Daxter, Ratchet Welcome and back. Sly, because it's got such a different tone in my comparison. I'm gonna load up some new more... But dear me, that monkey yellow. Oh my, that was one really weird vibe. That's one way of putting it, I guess. Anyways, back to the store to restock, because I'm still recovering from the blue... from Monkey Blue. <laughs> Oh, is this or not? I guess not. Not sure what past me was doing. I'm trying to figure out when, when my controller completely gives up on me. Okay, I guess we're just going right into the level. Okay. All right, and I believe this Here's is the another final I'm going to warp power over up to you. It's a sky flyer. Use it to soar high up into the sky. I believe following this would 
pretty much can go, like you can go training. back and get a lot of the ones that you could get to go before. Over to the training room but at the same time, out? I still say don't bother because it's not worth it till much later on. But anyways, yeah, the Sky Flyer. This one is pretty self-standard. It's self-explanatory. It is just a little helicopter to get a little higher in the air. And you can get across gaps. It's a staple of the series since the first game. Yeah, that was one of the shorter tutorials. Basically, it's a helicopter. Anyways, continuing on with this stage, now we got 13 to catch out of a total of 16 at the moment. That's a pretty cool level. Different, going for more of a, uh, a mountainous theme. I don't know, there's something about PS2 horror games that they, they just look good, even though they're dated. I think it's a combination of the graphics and the sound. Yeah, I mean, it's also just that the PS2 lasted so damn long. I'm kind of nostalgic for it. Plus, you gotta look out for these cameras, because they're very... They're very easy to miss if you're not looking. Great soundtrack. It's pretty weird the amount of Ape Escape games that actually never actually released outside of Japan, because there is a surprisingly large amount of these things. Like, we did get all the main series entries, like Ape Escapes 1, 2, 3, and the remake of the one on the loose from the PSP. But in terms of the spin offs, because there was a ton of spin offs. We only got Pumpkin Prime, which was a party action game, and we got Academy One, which was also a party game. Oh, and then we got the Move game, which was mediocre at best, but that's beside the point. Japan, on the other hand, got like... There was two additional games on the PS2. One was Million Monkeys, which was... It was you didn't catch monkeys, instead you had to suck the pants off of them and then to wash them with a vacuum gun. It was very weird. It was called Ape Escape 2001. I actually, I did import it. I don't have a Japanese PS2 to play it at the moment, though, so I haven't had a shot to actually try that one out. Like, here's a point where we bring the RC car to get the monkey out of the tank. There was another another one which was kind of a sequel to this game in a way. No, not not this game. No, ignore me. Um, there was another PS2 one called Million Monkeys, which was it was it was based off of one of Pumpkin Prime's mini games. It was kind of like an action platform with a notable like darker tone. It's another one I can't play because I don't have any more. Japanese PS2 at the moment. But the PSP got a ton of Able Skate games. Like there was Able Skate Racing, a racing little game. There was obviously Academy on the loose. There was a second Academy game which came out in Europe and Japan, but not America. I have to import that one at some point. There was also there's another one, it's called like Saru Saru Big Mission, I believe, or Saru Saru Get You Big Mission. That one was interesting because it, it ran off the Ape Escape 3 engine, but it was the gimmick of that one was actually kind of like Mario Odyssey where you controlled a, uh, a monkey helmet. You had to like capture the monkeys and play as the monkeys. It was it was a different idea. It was kind of cool. And then there was Ape Quest, which we did get over here, but we didn't get a physical one, we got a digital. And that was like an RPG-ish kind of game. Pretty interesting for the time. Yes. But yeah, there was a ton of Ape Escape stuff that did not come out over uh, here. The series. Uh, Japan Studio just wasn't confident in the series of doing well over here. I think it didn't help too that all the games after the first one kind of underperformed considerably despite being superior. <laughs> You did this to yourself. You did this to yourself. Just climb. Go 
back and do it again. Yo. Ugh. Pass me what you think. Yo. Yeah. Yo. At least he got it this time. Yo. 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 Jesus Christ, I know Yo. I was depressed when I recorded this. But Jesus, I just didn't care. Yo. Alright. Yeah. Moving on. Good load times in this game, too. Nothing, nothing too oppressive. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tap yeah. this. There you go. actually has two separate playable characters. There's the boy Kane, and then there's also Yumi, a female protagonist that you can play as. Yumi actually has a special gimmick where the monkeys, because she's a pop idol, the monkeys are inf infatuated with her. So certain ones will just straight up just like not even attempt to run away and you can just catch them instantly. I love the film spoofs. They're like just close enough to be spoofs, but not enough to be like direct ripoffs. I mean, anyways, parodies, parodies. Parodies technically protected by copyright law, but still. It's kind of funny. I don't even remember what I used to record this. I think it was dazzling. I think I just got to dazzle. I was super excited. I was like, look, I can record console footage now, something that other people have been doing for years. I think it will. Yeah, I, I bought it up after at my uh, pre-job before the one I'm currently at that I had gotten laid off and I might do all this, but um... Oh yeah, now we're gonna go from the mountain area to heaven. that the monkeys built all these sets. So the monkeys constructed whatever, either constructed this or it's, I'm not sure if they, it was just there. It's hard to say sometimes, the ridiculousness of this series. Okay, this one's in the air, so we're gonna need the... Okay, I guess not. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Normally for the ones in the flying like that, you need the slingshot and you have to knock them down. Apparently past me doesn't... can't be bothered right now. He'd rather go over here. Ugh, <laughs> oh, could you have picked a more awkward camera angle? Oh, I want the jacket. I'm probably gonna lose a life trying to get the jacket. That's how it usually goes. God, doing this with a malfunctioning controller was not the brightest of things ever to do. Yeah, see, I'm gonna get the jacket, and then I'm gonna have to go back, and I'm probably gonna die going back. There you go. No, not that. Yep. There you go! An extra life! How are you gonna lose it in five seconds? Alright. Easy does it. Jeez. <laughs> Cringing because I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I don't remember if I do it or not. 
Yeah, I guess he made it. I'm gonna end up losing that life stupidly, though. Here. Three more to go. How about you get that one that was flying that you blatantly ignored? I'm not really sure what my... What was my goal? Didn't seem to have one. Yeah, the flying... Go for the flying one. No? Okay, I guess not. It's not that hard. Oh god. Oh god, he's got the net. Is that what? I'm gonna get captured, aren't I? Oh no. Okay. Got that back. Yeah, if he catch it, they can catch you with your own net, though, and it will pull you out of the level and you have to start over. I think that your progress can say it, I think it's just a minor inconvenience, but yeah, you don't want that to happen. Yeah, the flying one, go get it! No, he wants to go for the... I must have been... Either I had a massive brain fart, or I must have just been lazy and didn't want to deal with it. It's right there! Go get him! Or her. I'm not sure. Yeah! It wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard. Maybe this is why, because I was struggling. Asked me. I, I, your heart was in the right place. <laughs> okay, I think, he, I think he gave up for the time being. You better he's kind of delusional and doesn't even know what he's doing right now. Oh no, now I'm just straight up rage quitting and just using the trick and capture. Oh, that was embarrassing. I'm glad I went out of the way to get that t-shirt. That doesn't respawn. Get the gold star. Oh, and he's gonna try again. Good. Good working, bud. Jeez, this is embarrassing. <laughs> what was I doing? It's not working, but give it up. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I think he died. Yeah, I think I just moved on at this point. <laughs> funny because I remember vividly recording the footage, I just don't remember what my thought process was for a lot of the, a lot of the time. I just wanted to like, I think I was more just determined to like push through it and like, worry about it later. Honestly, my, myself in 2015 probably thought this footage was great. <laughs> like I was playing really good. I also thought I was going to be a real class one player. Great, great choice there. Should have went, should have stuck to blogging. <laughs> blogging worked out so much better. I will say podcasting's been fun. Definitely helped me with my speaking. Having a mic that's worth a damn too helps too. Are right, you going to try and take on the, the, the angel, the flying angels again, or are you going to... Move on to something more manageable. I'm just worried about it doing I have to. Or am I grinding for money to buy more lives? Because I need those.
probably a combination of that and my kleptomania of just having to have all the all the collectibles. Let's get the star, man. There you go. why I didn't just go up here initially, but whatever. Can't explain. Where are the monkeys? You gotta be in here somewhere. Ah, sling shot down. Very important. There we go. Nice. Finish this. Thing. I'll face off against those flying monkeys another day. <laughs> I forgot. I kind of forgot there was a heavy section to that level. Odd transition. Yep, and that's going to be the it for this episode, guys. I'll see you all next time.